season's greetings and other kind remarks, Christmas Rim Rims, and welcome to RimWorld. Uh, Merry Christmas, I guess, if you celebrate that type of thing. If you don't, enjoy an entire day where a chunk of the world shuts down and you're finally left alone. So, here we are with our final day of the Joris Advent, day number 25, Christmas Day itself. Let's take a look at what we've got going on here. Yesterday, uh, I started Primarchs and Zombieland, which had a weirdly good synergy going on for the pack, which of course we'll continue to explore today. Day number 25 in good old Christmas greetings and kindness and happiness we have voted by you guys the void faction merry christmas everyone jesus christ when i said jesus christ there i meant like oh shit because we're gonna get wiped out not like in because it's christmas or anything so as the final christmas treat because we don't have uh you know a joris on day 25 because i wanted to make the number all big because you know it's important or something like that we have the return of every joris where you can see them in all their combined glory I think my personal favorite, with a bit of Joris hindsight, was definitely Day 12, the Biblical Joris. There are some good references and honorable mentions in there. Chief O'Bonson, another very, very good one. Uh, Sponge Joris Square Bonson is also very good. Uh, I've, could I, how could I forget Jonic, the fucking horrific hedgehog? <laughs> so maybe we'll do something with the Christmas Joris. I'll be honest, I really wanted to get, like, like commission someone to draw these but better you know rather than it just being my terrible attempt to alter and reward the, the reward base game polar bear because i think that would be that'd be something real nice anyway let's get on to being completely wiped out and you can get out of here too you fucking cheap looking thing the, the, the budget ran out okay i didn't have the budget for actual snow dot fx oh oh Enorm has been overwhelmed during a raid. Shafter has been captured by the void. <laughs> um Oh, so Enorm was the uh the the medieval kingdom or something like that, right? And they're they're just gone? Oh my god, there they are. Oh my god, not only did they get a starting one, but they've destroyed that one and also Oh fucking hell. Hey, well there we go. So for those of you who aren't familiar with with Void, maybe you're new to the channel or something like that. But to be fair, we've only really played it once before. Um, in the Robo Daddy series that we did, where we were playing with some really hyper, um, overpowered technology, we had to save our ship, we had antimatter annihilation. Those guys were so fucking dangerous that even our really really super overpowered kill box couldn't hold them back. We ended up having to make battle droids to essentially um, slow them down so that the turrets could actually finally rip them apart. So these guys are, in my opinion, at least in the mods I've played, the strongest of all the faction mods out there. Which is, I mean, credit to the mod author, I guess. But they are, they're not only just hideously overpowered, but they're actually really well designed as well. As you'll see eventually when we fight them, I'm sure. They're actually really well done. So it's not just like a kind of comedy mod where they've just scaled everything up to the largest number. They are in some ways, with the right mod pack... They can be balanced, but they are horribly, horribly, horribly overpowered, but they are still beatable, which is the important thing. So let's see how we get on today, then. This is going to be, uh... Yeah, I think this is going to be... What? <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Oh, God, don't make me do it. Fucking look at them. They're horrible. They're like giant, big, horrible babies. <sighs> okay, um, well, luckily, like, if they want to attack us, they have to go, like... Do we leave a hole in the wall? Because we do need to leave a hole in the wall somewhere... For them to still try and attack, obviously. Otherwise, they will just try and kick up the walls anywhere. I think we put a hole here and turn this into a full-blown kill tunnel. We might actually need that with the Void. Now, it's also worth mentioning, one of the mods that comes highly recommended with the Void mod is uh, a mod called something like Tis But a Flesh Wound. Um, or something like that. Where it basically allows them to keep fighting even if they've only taken a small amount of damage. Because their limbs are so, so powerful... Basically, if, if, if you're going by regular Rimworld thing, you know, you can die by 100 bruises in Rimworld. This somewhat prevents that, so that you can't just keep wailing on them until eventually you win. You have to, you, you do actually have to kill them. Um, so, the only problem with that is nuclear explosives. Oh, we do have a hole in the wall. That's actually a good thing. The nuclear explosives that we've been using to deal with most of the raids actually might not work against the Void. But it works both ways in that our Primarchs, Santa and Natsa, bizarre... Uh, oh. Or not. Uh. 
Santa, you seem to have... You seem to have lost your, your Primark, Primarkness. What the hell's happened there? I mean, Natsa has stayed thoroughly Primarked. Why did Sansa revert back? I don't know. And I'm not sure it matters. Oh my god, his force powers have come back and he's lost his Primark abilities. <laughs> well, maybe we can just implant it again, you know? Natsa's actually kept both. Somehow his experiment was a complete success. I guess when we've reloaded the save, it's um, it's it's kind of woken up the force power mod, because where we so so the way it works, obviously it changed their race from human to a starter space marine or whatever, um, and that caused their force powers I guess to reset. And where I've now loaded it back into the game today, it has readjusted that. Okay, so Santa probably just needs more gene therapy again. We've got plenty of gene seeds, so it's not a big deal. Sorry, why is there a what? There's a drunk muffalo dying in my hospital. Oh, right, let's go deal with these insects and then we can focus on what I actually wanted to do with today's episode as a slightly special episode, uh, which, you know, may or not, well, maybe slightly special because it might be the, the, the day that we're finally fucking wiped out. What I wanted to do was start giving gifts to our, our people, our, our civilians, because, you know, there's people like, um, I don't know, let's take like Corrupt, for example, Mangled Brain. I think it's a nice Christmas gift. We'll unmangle his brain. It's the least Santa can do. One of my one of the ideas I came up with on Discord earlier. You know how yesterday the clay soldier couldn't take the Yayo because he doesn't have a nose. I was thinking for a Christmas gift, much like the cowardly lion, much like the Wizard of Oz, we're gonna give him a nose so he can do lines and lines and lines of Yayo. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna have to capture a man, cut off his nose, and graft it onto our clay man so that he can enjoy cold, hard drugs. Ultimately, that's really what Christmas is all about, right? Okay, let's deal with these big fucking hideous fat babies. There also seems to be a zombie in uh, Primark armor, which is doing me a concern. Uh, but we'll we'll see kind of how we get on. This should be a really, really easy raid because these guys, though they are scary, they're ultimately just kind of tribal era enemies, aren't they? Best part of all, Primark Natsa can hit him with some force powers. Go. Yes. Natsa is draining power of the flesh, flesh Lord's health. Someone just tried to assassinate Santa. You know who you are. Who was that? It was Soriel. How fucking dare you. I forgot those ones blow up. We should probably, when we get onto the, um, back onto the last cannons, we'll swap those out. All right. Well, this should be a case of, um, just killing them dead. Fucking look at them, they're disgusting. Why are they all running around like that? Where are you going? Mr. Cake? Well, okay, I guess it's not terrible, because then we could throw out an eye of the storm and be done with all these horrible mushroom babies. Die! Yes! And they're gone. That's all it took. Wow. What the fuck are you wearing? I wish we had a... I wish we had some way to, uh... To butcher him so that we could see what armor he's got on there. Because that is insane. Oh, look, we're so close. 5,574 points of research to the Great Crusade. Taxes build. And we got uh, industrious taxes from Rudolfsa. What are we tithing from Rudolfsa right now? Uh, Colonies. And then Rudolfsa. Oh, it's research. Oh, cool. I didn't even know you could get that. Oh, well, that actually worked out really, really well. Because I just changed their work schedule so that we could get to some of this crazy armor a little bit sooner. Because this adds... So much insane, insane shit, and I assume that big, uh, that that zombie wearing that massive over over the top armor is probably from one of the Primark mods, right? So we can turn Natsa into a proper, full on armored up Primark. Santa, we're gonna have to start dosing up again. So I guess I can just go, yeah, Gene Seed Growth Near Fight. It, it hasn't actually done anything at all yet. Um, I guess I'll just get him to reset. That's so strange that he wouldn't... I guess now that he, he he is already a starter and he's got the force that this probably won't reset him again. No, nothing. I hate to say it, but I think Santa might have failed the... Uh, Santa may have failed the Primark gene therapy. So Natsa ended up being our only Primark to succeed out of the three that we tested. Oh, that's so good. I was going to call Rudolph... Uh, Rudolph Dawn bad. That's really bad. <laughs> that's fucking unforgivable. Right, okay, so what does this actually add for us then? Great Crusade is finished. There we go. And then we want to add, uh, let's go production. Uh, somewhere in here. There it is. Mechanicum Workbench. I'm glad I actually cleared a little room then for, for some of this new stuff that we've got going on. I wonder if also to the Warp Tainted Machine and the Imperial Machining Table, some new things have been added as well. 
But we'll we'll test this one out first. Oh my god, Mechanicum Cogitator. Uh, we need two two brains, eight uh something somethings. Uh, what how, what do we build this out of? That's regular resources. So I seem to build this. We need to build some extra resources from this workbench. So the components of the Imperial Steel or whatever uh, what whatever else it was. Did I fucking read that right? Uh, taxes from gold have been delivered. Plasteel. Why am I tithing plasteel from gold? Because I'm also... Oh, because we had a shitload of gold, didn't we? Ah, okay, good. Well, to be fair, we probably need it here. So, what do we... How do we make this, then? Uh, so, create imperial component. That's four ceramite, ten silver, one component. Create refined ceramite. Three ceramite, ten steel. Refined adamantium is three adamantium, twenty silver, and one plasteel. Create imperial power core. Four refined ceramite, two refined adamantium, four uranium. And then we've got all sorts of just ridiculous... What, what the fuck is this? Necessary tool, tools to treat wounded marines. Surgery success chance 20%. Whoa. Heavy flamers. Bolt guns. Oh. Suddenly. <laughs> I just love the idea of Nats of the Lich going out with a fucking heavy flamer. <laughs> oh, look. The sonic blaster has fallen... A combi bolter, a normal quality combi bolter is better than a normal combo, a normal quality sonic blaster in terms of DPS. And that also fires kinetic, oh, obviously bolt there. Um, so cooldown is, oh, cooldown is a lot lower, but that is DPS. Well, I guess, it, I mean, the DPS over accuracy, you would hope, would take that into account anyway. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Range is about the same, armor penetration is about the same too. It's actually very, very, very slightly higher. Um... But this does 30 damage over instead of 15, but this has over double the cooldown, which I guess is why the damage is slightly better. Okay, cool. Hey. I could be persuaded to make some bolters for everybody instead of these sonic weapons. Because I feel like actual kinetic weapons probably are a bit more effective. Okay. Um. Wow, shit. Some of these, like a chainsaw as well. Uh, I mean, instead of a Hooper Stank's anime blade might be quite interesting. Lightning Claw, Power Fist. Was it Friday already? The thing I don't know then is how do we get these raw materials? Because these are possibly things that generate in the world when you start a new map. If that's the case, we'll need to set up two more settlements to tithe, specifically the 40k gear. Um, oh, Dong has dropped it up and I can't undraft. Look, Dong is just constantly glitched out. The glitchy cat girl. Let's go for... Okay, well, let's do that then. Let's go set up two new colonies, specifically to tithe more 40k resources. We need ceramite and adamantium, right? Why well, don't I check that we can actually tithe them before I commit to this? I'm pretty sure we've seen them on there before. Uh, let's go tithe and then ceramite, adamantium, and auramite. So really, we should build three more because I don't—I have no idea what auramite is. I could only afford two more settlements for the time being, so I've set everything just to max tithe. In 0.4 days, we'll bring in uh, 27,000 silver. So we should probably be all right after that. We should be able to get enough upgrades to really start our our Primark program rolling. From where we've melted down some Imperial weapons that we've had before, I guess like spare Sonic Blasters and shit, we're able to make a little bit of the, um, you know, like Imperial components and, and Ceramite and advanced stuff too. Hey, there we are. There's a quarries coming in. What the hell is going on here? We've got like two Muffalos just stacked up. What the fuck? Okay. Um, I'm sending Hooper Stank in just to go and glory kill them. I don't even know if this will work. No, they have to be already down, don't they? Right. Kill them dead. We don't actually kill him. Like, knock him down so we can glory kill him. Rip and tear the muffalo. Go. Go. Uh, well, that's one killed already. Oh, I dropped medicine in the hospital. Hey, that's pretty appropriate. So I think the reason for that is we have chemshine. And one of the... one of the Well, we had chemshine. Uh, one of the features of vanilla expanded, I believe, settlers. Makes it so you can craft chemshine. But muffalo are uh, obsessed with it for whatever reason. Um, Armageddon pattern helmet of adaptation. What the hell is that? Work speed factor and learning factor. That's quite good. Wait, that one's still <gasps> bleeding out in two hours. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Rip and tear. Uh, rip and tear. Christmas is ruined. Fuck off. Get out of here. Now my hospital's on fire. Because I stabbed a, a chem-shined muffalo. <laughs> oh, God. It's it's like seriously bad. Uh, Santa, Santa, Santa. We need some extinguishing, please. Not my fucking jukebox. You wouldn't. Good as new. Hey, there we are. Thank you, Santa. Very cool. This is kind of cool as well. Someone pointed this out to me on, I think it was Discord, that if you've got the Pocket Dimension mod and you've got the Rim of Magic mod, it adds a ye old Pocket Dimension, um, which you build with Magicite. I assume you fueled it with Magicite, too. I'll put one down quickly so we can double check. I, I like the Pocket Dimensions. I think they're very, very good, and they're, they're a really cool concept. They're not good for me as a, as a person, because I can't micromanage things. And we've had way too many 
dragons die. They've basically just been an execution pit for dragons at this stage. Nice. Okay, you fuel it with Magicite. That's actually a really cool idea. So you can make yourself a whole little pocket dimension. How big is it for the for the maximum size? How big can you even go with this? It's like a whole other fucking map. So we can build it that big, probably because I've just put it, you know, kind of off center there. 36,000 Magicite, and you get yourself a whole new RimWorld map. That is very, very cool. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your settlement census grant taxes have generated an extra 44.00001% in taxes. Wow. That's going to be a whole nothing. My God. The gate. They've, they've forced the gate open with just a mountain of corpses. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. They started to rot now. I assume that's where like a trader came in or something. And then one of them died holding the door open. Or probably one of our bloody minions. Yeah, that's a bit more likely. Good mechanoid. Hello. Oh, God, Mechanoids, hello. Uh, that was more than I expected. What are we up against? <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, 15 centipedes, huh? Hmm, yes. Hmm, very, very Christmas, sir. Uh, Santa. Santa, I think the Mechanoids have earned themselves a Christmas gift this time of year. Merry Christmas. Yay! Nuclear catastrophe. Wow, look at the fucking shockwave, though, huh? Good work, Santa. Oh, God, my trade caravan. <laughs> oh, no. Well, oh, he made it. He actually escaped. Oh, what about you, though? You certainly didn't. Well, shit. Now I hear they're angry at me because apparently their trade caravan got eaten by zombies. Well, that's not my fault. That doesn't look very inside the walls. How the hell did you even get out there? What are they, do what are they doing? Hey, fuck off. Get out of there. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, sure? Oh, no. I feel like this was a mistake. <laughs> oh, hey, look at that. Scan underground ceramite. Nice. So let's get the us under our fucking hospital. Well, get the deep drills, brother. We need we need this for the bolters. 300 ceramite underground here. That's not bad. Oh, my God. We've got steel, steel, plasteel. Man, they've scanned a lot, huh? One crystal underground. Oh, weird. Okay. We've got steel there. Gold. Steel. Uh, and then we've got plasteel under the wall. I mean, I thought it was probably a good idea to have them scanning constantly because we set up that fleet of scanners, if you remember. I don't know if 300... 300 ceramite. Is that a lot? I have no idea how to gauge it right now because we never used this mod before. Fuck it. Sorry for whoever's in that hospital bed laid up over Christmas because uh, I haven't really got the kindest neighbor. Pretty quick to drill, though. Hey, look at that. Nice. So ceramite. What, what the hell do we use ceramite for, then? That creates imperial components, which obviously sound very, very useful. Uh, imperial power calls require refined ceramite, refined adamantium, and uranium. We've got refined ceramite, you know, in production right now. Uh, we could do with another one of these workbenches, though, to be completely honest. Let's swing that around over to there. Um, well, I suppose we could stack kind of up to there. Although, if we put it there, it should still be able to connect to that. Let's put another one there. And then, if we drag all kind of this crap over by a block, we should still be able to... We should be able to put another one of these Imperial workbenches right here. The northern wall is completely lost. That's the side that I put the gate on for the traders. So I think we're going to have to put one at the bottom side of the map instead. Holy shit. No, there's a reason I did that, right? Because we're on the... Uh, where are we right now? Oh, that's where I put the other... Sorry, I didn't actually show this, did I? Um, I put one of the settlements there. And I put another settlement actually up behind the Empire. So they'll start building a road through the Empire settlement. As you can see, they've already done that. So that way, if we do need to visit for whatever reason to trade with them, whatever else, we can get there pretty fast. Look at all this infrastructure we've built on this planet. Santa, you've done a fucking incredible job. We're just going to rename this to Planet Santa. So what am I... What was I looking for again? Uh... I don't know. I, I've lost track of my life. Just fucking chaos. <laughs> just constant fucking chaos. Fine. I'll open the gate. Just don't let any damn zombies in. Shit. Oh, damn. I see why they call you Edge. Holy fucking shit. So at long last, we finally unlocked the one true armor. The Adeptus Custodies, the Captain General Power Armor, the Alaris Terminator Armor. It's all ridiculous. Like, just to put it into a quick overview here. If we go apparel and then sort by, like, I don't know, Blunt Protection, 250% Sharp Protection. Um, well, same story. This, this is so, so good. In theory, I guess if we make, like, a really good quality Hyper Alloy Armor, it could be better. And it is already better than all of the others. So, I mean, hey, credit to whoever the hell crafted that. I assume we can't make the one true armor out of anything but... No, the base materials. Okay, got it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make Santa the one true armor and the crown. This gives him, you know, 320% uh, armor sharp to blunt and heat and whatever. Move speed, global work speed. The crown, though, is quite interesting. 
gives uh, 400% psychic sensitivity, natural heat recovery, meditation, meditation focus gain a day. So that way we can finally use Santa's magic powers that we've had, the psychic powers, because they didn't set anything in its meditation schedule. And then finally, the Captain General armor is just super accurate. 20% melee hit chance, 30% uh, shooting accuracy, but they're a lot lower. If we give Rudolph a jetpack, and Natsu can already fly anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. We need a lot. Luckily, we've got the Devil Strand already. We need a lot of Auramite, and that's the one thing I wasn't able to set up to tithe. Of course we would. Um, is there a way to craft Auramite? Aura, no. Uh, let's go to research a second. Aura, Aura, Imperial Metals. Oh, there is a way to craft it, I assume. Um, enables construction Auramite. How do we make that then? Uh, fabrication bench? Uh... There's got to be a way to do it. Otherwise, I can just tie it. Nothing in there. What if What if that's one of the, uh, you know, the smaller workbenches? I bet there's something there for it. Um, what else have we got in here? GNC Custodies. What is that? Is that like a better one? I have no idea. That one requires 20 Luciferium. The Stellark again. The actual Stellark himself has turned up. The actual Stellark himself has turned up. And we need two human brains to run our Mechanicum Cogitator. <laughs> Rudolph! Rudolph, I need you to go and collect something for me. A mighty fine Stellark brain. And if he kills him, who cares? We'll resurrect him. We'll reverse time. And then... Oh, we've got to. Send them a greeting party. Send them a greeting party. My allies from the Empire. There will only be one empire here under the one true god. Wait for the Stellar to get on dry land. Then we choke the fucking life out of him. And if he dies, we reverse time. Here we go. Choke the Stellar, Santa. Choke the Stellar. Why can't he do it? Oh, he, could, he couldn't see him. He was behind a rock. Choke the Stellar, Santa. Fuck him up, boys. They're not bothered. They're not bothered. They think it's some sort of unique Santa greeting. Let's show them that this is no unique Santa greeting. Die! Yes! Ally now neutral. Hostile. Kill the Stellar. Don't let him escape. That's the only thing I ask of you. Go. Bring him down. Bring him down. Bring him down. Fight. Force lightning. Go. Zap him, Rudolph. Oh, look at all these brains. Look at... Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. Santa, you fucking killed him, you moron. Right, reverse time. We're fine. Everything's fine. I want your brain, Stellar. I want your brain. We've got him. We fucking got him. <laughs> Merry fucking Christmas to me. Wow. Talk about big dick energy. Grabbing the fucking high Stellar, pulling out his brain so that it can be used to forge your greatest and most powerful armor. Oh, that was that was some good shit. Uh, the only problem is getting all these people into the hospital before they die is going to be a different challenge entirely. Hang on. Let's go ahead and take that apart. Right. Capture them. Capture them. I want their fine imperial brains. More importantly... The Stellark's Zeus Hammer had a rare infusion on it. Uh, where is our pickup empty infuser? Can we can we extract that? Hang on. Oh, I remember how you do it. Just go infusion and you click on it, right? Zerato, can you do that? Um, oh, it's it, right. Okay, unrestricted. And then extract infusion. We can take the power from his Zeus Hammer and we can give that to Rudolph. Marcos? <laughs> ah, um... Uh, okay, okay, I, I take that one back. Santa, where are we? Is he almost back? He went the long way around, unfortunately. There he is. One Stellark safely returned, ready to have his brain extracted and chucked into machinery. Also, do me a favor, Santa, and uh, break this man's legs or something, because he's getting right on my fucking nerves. Sir! S sir! Is there anything else we want to do to the Stellark first? Uh, we could give him a gene seed and recruit him. That would be such a big dick play as well. Uh, I think I'm going to take your uh, remove part would be would be a good way to get remove. Let's let's take him apart for well parts to start off with, and then uh, I want your brain. No 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 ha harvest. How do I t how do I take his brain? Uh br br brain. They have to be dead already, right, or something like that. Oh my god, and we got his champion too. The poor empire. Uh, his brain has been shredded, so it's actually useless. Unfortunately, we got an enemy trooper, so we'll take one of those. Uh, we'll take... Oh, he's got a learning assistant. We'll take that as well. Uh, we've got an enemy trooper. You're, you're actually gonna die. We're gonna lose a lot of these people. Oh no, Arctic's on it. Wow, that's really good. I mean, taking out the Stellark and his actual honor guard along with champions and imperial traders. 
That couldn't have been at a better time. I'm so glad the Stellark himself graced us with his presence. Work? Wait, did that just... And there we go. We've had Natsa transfer the most powerful enchantment on the most powerful guy's weapon in the Empire to Rudolph's saber. Holy shit. That was, that was genuinely like Christmas's come early. Well, I, I guess that expression doesn't really work here, does it? More, more hyper alloy armor of the Valiant. Fucking hell. So we've got, uh, Mikamis, the, uh, the, the little, uh, clay man has his hyper armor. We've got Hooperstank with his hyper alloy armor as well. What are we going to equip you with? I haven't really got a good weapon for you either. We can make some bolters. I mean, it'd be quite fun to swap out everybody's armor for the for the hyper alloy armor of the Valiant along with the demon scale gear because that way all their abilities get a shitload of bonuses as well. Um, we could even go as far to make them the the the, the kind of magical. It's a magical helmet. It says helmet of the Valiant. Or there's also like Paragon's helm. There's also that 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 kind of weird spooky uh, hat somewhere. And if spooky hat doesn't really fucking narrow it down in this mod pack, uh, there it is. The hood of madness. So that lowers social impact, but who cares about that in exchange for lower aiming time, faster global work speed, 18 ingredients, and unrefined magic. I'm going to do expert colonists and make one for everybody. Fuck it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, his poor little jaw. What happened? What do we got next? Removing body part and boom. There's one arm. Thank you very much. Finally, my friends. The brain of a Stellark. The center of all consciousness. Some poor soul used to use this to think. But now it can have a more useful purpose for Santa's Imperium. Yes, this is what Christmas is all about. We need one more brain. And, and who should we take that? I guess we'll take it from the Empire's head negotiator. Uh, head being the operative word right now. There you are. Uh, oh, right, you've already got a learning assistant, so we can't take yours. Um, sure, just harvest anybody's brain at this point. doesn't really matter. I think the Stalock alone is enough to, uh, enough to power our ambitions. And perfect. Okay. Where, where are you taking that brain? Be very careful. Steal tall shells. I'm going to keep a bloody eye on this minion, because that is a high-tier brain that you've got there. Santa has delivered the first of the brains to the Mechanicum Cogitator. I assume it's like cognition, right? Because it's made of brains. Uh, I have no idea. We've got one brain left to go, and I, which I assume is being delivered now. Yeah, Santa's on his way. Oh, look at this. And then, my friends, we can finally begin the ultimate challenge of turning Santa into the one true god of all. Now, for that other gene seed, we need human meat. So I'm all, I'm more than happy to go details, uh, human-like corpses and just allow them all, right? Uh, swap this over. Sorry, I thought I did. There we are. And then Rudolph gets to work butchering my friend. Uh, have we got a uh, butchering my friend? Maybe literally at this point. 20 meat per gene seed. Oh my god, and we've already got <laughs> 541. I mean, if it's 20 meat per gene seed and we need, what, 20 gene seeds? So we've already got the meat that we need for it. Perfect. And look at them go. Working on the set of Santa's power armor. The Primarch's brain. What was his name? Sorry, Stellark's brain. Installed. And my friends, boom. Merry fucking Christmas. There he is. The high Stellark forced to serve Santa for the rest of time as a dirty, filthy machine in the back of his lab. How the mighty have fallen. Sorry, the monkeys, what? You can't say that. That's disgusting. So we are going to change this one to tithe the, uh, I can't even remember what it's bloody called now, but I'm going to set this one up as another quarry one. That's it. Auramite. We need shit loads of that. To be honest, I might have to take something like one of our plasteel tithes over. Bear in mind, we've only got 500 plasteel. I suppose I could get rid of our steel tithe, realistically. Change that over to Auramite, and then we'll upgrade this one so it's fully capable of tithing Auramite as well. Then tomorrow, we start work on the final steps of turning Santa into that Primarch. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Right, let's go all in on the workers, because that's fine. Um, I could also start upgrading it, I guess, preemptively, too. And then Steel, I want you to not be Steel anymore, because we've got way too much. Uh, that is tithing. Yeah, that is tithing Steel. Put you on Auramite. And then... We wait and see what happens. God knows if we'll need the gene seeds. Somebody said that the black carapace are the things that interface with the armor itself. Uh, seeing as Natsa didn't actually get that, and we did do the surgery to give him that, there might just be... Uh, they're genuinely, among this massive mod pack, might be a bug with any of the Bionics mods. The uh, Obviously, the mod that gives Bionics actual HP. There could be a bug with uh, Xenobiotic Patch. It could be anything. I'm not against using dev mode to give him that if he should have it, which I think he probably should at this point. It does say that gene seed growth as status. 
Um, which I assume means he's supposed to be done. Anyway, I'll look more into it before I'm, I, I actually do that. Because obviously I don't want to accidentally cheat him into being super, super powerful. But I think he should have already had it at this point. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Hope you've had a lovely day if you've done anything special with it. If not, hope you've enjoyed the peace and quiet from everyone else being... Um, you know, kind of minding their own business and doing their own thing for a day. Thank you in the meantime to TG Taps, Steak and Bacon Akins, Slippy Nips, Cyric 3 and 3, Night Rouge, Soul and Breen, Pang Power, Amore the Fox, and Chihuahua, along with everyone else, of course, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon for making this Christmassy episode possible in the first place. And a thank you as well to Mountain Cadalbe, Callum James 3, Blue Chaos, Scott, Matteo, Distress Morana, Balman, Cass, Flom, Lilac, Coldest Flame, Major, Mythical, and Roger Wilco as well. See you guys all tomorrow for Santa becoming true God Emperor of Mankind.